Hey, it's Marco Pelosi III. If you just became aware of the top cosmetic gynecologists and our website, topcosmeticgyn.com, you might be asking yourself, why this, why now? The answer is simple. Until now, the process of finding quality information on cosmetic gynecology was broken. It was broken for doctors seeking quality training programs and information, and it was broken for patients seeking quality doctors and quality information about real solutions to their problems. The Top Cosmetic Gynecologist connects people with reliable information on cosmetic gynecology from the top experts in cosmetic gynecology. For patients, we list the highest level experts that we know based upon direct observation by ourselves and by other cosmetic gynecologists that we know. And we put them into easy to understand groups. We don't rank them. They are all excellent. We simply classify them by levels of experience. For doctors, we list the best teaching programs and conferences that we know based upon the experiences of doctors who have participated in these events and based upon our knowledge of the people running these programs. For everyone, we feature the Top Cosmetic Gynecologist blog and the Top Cosmetic Gynecologist podcast so that you can stay updated with the latest topics and ideas in cosmetic gynecology. We hope you like it. We hope you use it. And we hope that it helps you navigate the vast sea of information better than you did before. Share this website and this blog and this podcast with the people in your life who you feel would benefit from this information. Ask yourself this, what is the cost of being wrong, of making a bad decision, of having bad, incomplete, or outdated information? You waste your time, you waste your money, you jeopardize your health, your happiness. Too often, we consult the internet for the answers to all of our problems in areas outside our scope of expertise. Too often, we as non-experts are met with a sea of information so vast that to truly search it is impossible, and to filter out the best of that information is beyond impossible. The internet has been called the greatest source of information that ever existed, but it has also been called the greatest source of garbage that has ever existed. In many industries, consumer rating sites have popped up almost everywhere, rating everything and anything imaginable in an effort to make sense of this overload of information. However, in medicine and surgery, the rating process has never been in the hands of expert physicians who were experts in niche specialties like cosmetic gynecology. In the health industry in general, rating systems have been hijacked by corporate entities focusing on top hospitals and they've been developed by consumer-centric sites that rate the emotional experience of care received in the same way they rate hotels, restaurants, and car dealerships. While these metrics are important in their own right, they miss the mark completely when judging expertise. They do so because they are not and will never be sufficiently equipped to judge expertise. They don't look at the parameters that equate to expertise. They use hotel, restaurant, and car dealership criteria to rate doctors. It's absurd. And when you think about it, choosing a surgeon is just like choosing an airline pilot. You want someone who's an expert at flying, and you should care less about how well he or she puts on a silly show to appease a silly rating system. But how do you spot an expert? Well, that's what we do. We spot experts by watching them perform. Just like professional sports scouts pick out the best football players, the best baseball players, and the best basketball players. At the present time, the public spends considerable time and effort on something they call doctor ratings using something they call criteria. These criteria are focused overwhelmingly on something they call the overall experience. But what that is to them is really more appropriate for ranking and evaluating hotels, restaurants, and car dealerships. Criteria like how close the parking lot is to the office, waiting times, etc. receive equal weight to the actual quality of the work. 
Now, we don't dismiss the need for a positive experience, but we as experts know that these luxury amenities have little bearing on the quality of the actual work. The prettiest place in the world, the nicest staff in the world, and a great personality might generate great reviews, but they will never turn a poor surgeon into a good one. Imagine that a professional football team was selected on the basis of how friendly, how talkative, or how accessible each team member was. Do you think that's going to yield the top performing team? Probably not. Yet, that's where we're headed today using rating systems created by travel and leisure entrepreneurs. These systems reward the ones with the pretty plants, the pretty parking lots, and the chatty demeanor, but they are completely missing the point. It might be that the five-star rated physician is great at his or her actual craft, but you're not going to know it from the rating because it isn't being measured by the rating. We need something better. You need something better. Don't you want to know who really is a master of their craft and not simply a master of advertising and marketing? There is no better judge of an expert than another expert. Saying it takes one to know one is absolutely true in the field of surgery. In the eyes of an expert, there is no place for a pretender to hide. It doesn't matter how well you speak, how you look, how many stars you have on your hotel and restaurant rating system. An expert can spot talent in an instant. It might not be popular, but it's quite effective. And I'm sure that there are plenty of people out there who really want this information unfiltered and completely honest. They just didn't know that the information that they had that they thought was good was missing what really mattered. You won't find this information in the mainstream medical societies, in the medical literature, or in residency and fellowship training programs in any specialty, because this is not where these experts reside or have ever resided. This is the work of innovators and early adopters, and it won't be mainstream for a very long time. This is why websites that rely on traditional markers of professional education, such as board certification, residency training credentials, and fellowship training credentials are completely useless for identifying experts in cosmetic gynecology. Useless. When I mentioned the idea of the top cosmetic gynecologist to my colleagues early on in this project, the very first thing all of them asked is, how will you know that it's complete? Well, it's not complete. It's not intended to be complete, and making it complete isn't the goal. The world is simply too large. It is intended simply to be accurate. It says to the world, this is a group of experts in cosmetic gynecology, and we know they're experts because we and other experts that we know know their work, have seen their work, and have been impressed by their work. If there are more doctors out there who are great, well, that's great too. But we are only going to vouch for the ones that we know. Nothing more and nothing less. This is the same for the training programs and meetings that we recommend. We know these programs. We know these meetings. We've been to them. We've been impressed by them. And we vouch for them. It's a circle of trust. We've gone two levels deep on this. We and other people that we trust have given us their expert opinions and impressions based on their expertise, not the flowers in the lobby, not the hotel experience, not the food, and not the snacks. There might be other programs out there that are excellent, but if we don't know them, we simply are not going to vouch for them. The top cosmetic gynecologist is a huge time saver. If you want proof, simply do a Google search for any procedure in the realm of cosmetic gynecology. Each one is going to have a million hits or more, and no one has the time to go through one million web pages. And even if they did, how would they know whether the information was good or bad if they're not an expert? It all looks good and sounds good, and the hotel restaurant five-star ratings say it's good. You can't tell. It's impossible. That's why we're here. We and the experts that we know can assess all of your problems, recommend the best treatments, and do them exceptionally well. The programs that we know can train doctors properly so that they can deliver these services too. So yeah, it's not complete, but it's good. Pretty good. More than pretty good. In fact, it is absolutely excellent and unmatched anywhere. In January of 2018, and again this year, I challenged a group of top cosmetic gynecologists from the United States, Central and South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and the Pacific to save the specialty of cosmetic gynecology, to save it from the hacks, the quacks, and the charlatans spewing bad information, misinformation, and flat-out lies 
all over the internet and everywhere else in the pursuit of dollars because they were corroding the essence of cosmetic gynecology and corrupting all of the valuable benefits of this field and giving it a terrible reputation. No one took me up on this challenge. So here I am, and here we are doing the hard work that needs to be done because waiting is no longer an option, and we have an audience of like-minded colleagues who want the same thing. Maybe they didn't know how to channel their energy until now, but here it is. Here's your channel. Here's my gift to the future of your specialty. It is not my thing. It is not my society's thing. It is our thing. So we welcome you to be part of this community. We hope that this is the beginning of something useful, effective, and productive. Welcome to the kind of place where industry insiders will provide you with insights to help filter all of the noise that's out there and to answer the questions about the information that's out there for the benefit of physicians seeking information, for the benefits of patients seeking information, and for the betterment of the specialty as a whole. We hope you like it. Mm -hmm.